Woo. Welcome back to the shop. I'm JC. Ashley. With JE Eclectics. And you're here because you're checking out our series on JE Sublimate Everything. Hopefully, you've already seen that video where we unboxed our Epson F570 and we did those awesome 3D puff embroidered hats that we sublimated or the shirt Ashley's wearing right now. And in this video, we're going to show you how to make some awesome custom mouse pads. So yep, stick yep. around. All right, so hopefully you're still using mouse pads. If not, you know, a great thing about these is that, you know, and a lot of people have them, is the whole desk uh, mats. Those and you extra can, large ones. Extra large ones, and you can customize those however you want. So, you know, all any idea you can think of. But anyways, so first step to sublimating is what design you're gonna sublimate. So we're gonna go back and do a J&E design. Uh, probably gonna change the colors a little bit. You don't like yellow. Let's go straight to that. So when we're working on the design, one thing you want to keep in mind is what you're actually sublimating on. So in a previous video, we did this design on a shirt and we just did a nine by nine circle basically stitch and embroider over it. But for the mouse pad, we want to make a new canvas size that's specifically the same size or slightly larger than the mouse pad we're going to be sublimating over. That way you don't get any misprints and we'll show you what that looks like. So I added my magenta color. You want to make sure that uh, that box is right behind your design. I already preloaded the design um, and it's going to sit right in the center. So now you want to make sure that you um, edit your design. So how large do you want it onto the mask pad? Do you want a lot smaller, bigger? Do you want to take off most of it? I chose just seven inches wide. Uh, that's going to be for the most part the whole mouse pad and then I have room to go ahead and put a random design in the back. So we could directly just print it out like that or we could get a little fancier. Let's say one site I like to use is Unsplash, it's free usable images. Uh, let's say I want to do a background. I don't know how good this is going to look but let's try it out. I'm just going to copy that image. Now there is uh, requirements on their end but this is just again educational. Um, I know some of the requirements is uh, leaving the artist name in there. So Patrick Henry, thank you for this. So if you select that box and you go down here, your setup may be a little bit different, um, but if you go into drawing modes, it's gonna let you draw inside. So it is very faint, but there's actually a dotted line, like a little uh, corner here. It's telling you that it's in that draw mode. I'm just gonna paste that image in there, expand it, make sure it fits. Now, if you see that blue square, that is your total image. So you can replace that with something else. Lastly, I'm going to do, just because I don't know how it's going to look like, I'm going to take out that black in the center. Heck yeah. All right, and that's going to be my design. So let's see how it looks. What do you think? Take off the black and the letters? I like the black. I was even thinking in, in like a different color. If we shrunk that, we could put stuff. I mean, you can get crazy and put all kinds of info on there. But we're getting too, too we're getting right now. All right. So we're just going to leave, actually, change this real quick. I'm going to change that to, sorry. I'm going to change these letters to white, just so they pop out a little bit more. You can't sublimate white, though. But the good news is you're sublimating on something white, like the blank mouse pad. So everything Esley changes to white will just be the color of, this is basically the canvas we're working with now. So this blank mouse pad. So this is a good time while he's getting that set up and ready to print. We can talk about it. You could buy these in bulk if you're wanting to sublimate yourself. You want to get yourself a sublimation printer. Um, you could buy these in bulk for a few dollars a piece. And then obviously your time and cost of ink go in. We actually bought a couple hundred sets of 14 inch by 24 inch extra large mouse pads for your whole desktop setup. And a lot of people use those not just for their whole computer or gaming setup. Some people use them for like TCG um, or card games. So they'll play Pokemon or, or Digimon, whatever card games you guys are into, they use those mouse pads. And it's the same exact thing as a mouse pad, but it has specific design printed on it. And we actually have an order. You guys will be able to check that out in another video when we knock out 100 of those extra large gaming pads for them. But for cost, pretty simple. Um, I, I, I want to say we actually ordered these to test off of Amazon. It was 15 bucks for like five or 10 of them. So a few dollars a piece. But if you wanted to get on your Etsy store, buy some of these blanks, sublimate them and sell them for $10 a piece, you could easily do that. And you could print anything, you know, family loved one pictures, picture of your dog or your cat or just whatever. Stay tuned to see more on that. Or if you guys want custom mouse pads or extra large ones, you can hit us up. You should already know where to do that at, right? Right below in the comments. 
Now, if you're gonna be doing multiple prints, um, it doesn't matter if it's multiple prints of the same design or different designs, gain them up, all right? Take advantage of that real estate. You're gonna see I only printed one image and there's a lot of real estate on that paper that I am wasting. So take advantage of that real estate. Don't waste your paper. Hey, maybe it's a shirt you wanna do for, for yourself, you know? Hey, take advantage, why not? The, the ink is relatively cheap. So uh, you're already using a paper, use a bat, that paper. Perfect example of exactly what he means. The shirt he's wearing, this was an extra piece of sublimation paper I cut off of the edge of that design. If we had ganged up images, and we could have done a couple more small designs, we could have easily sublimated a couple of hats with with that extra paper. And it doesn't seem like a lot, because we buy the paper in rolls of like 50 feet or 100 feet, uh, but it definitely is gonna start adding up. And you wanna save money so that you can keep more money in your pockets. All right, so what we're doing now, I've already set up a little bit of prep work, got a couple pieces of the tape set up and ready. And then we've got our mouse pad, our blank mouse pad. So what I actually prefer to do, and you could cut out a little more paper, but you wanna have some, that doesn't look like the right size, bro. What? It's not the right size. It's a square. It's not a rectangle. Look at that. It's way off. It's not even close. What did I do? Did I do the same as last time? He did this last time. <laughs> hey. I think that's a, a unspoken little trend that's going on with these videos. It is <laughs> mistakes. It seems like I'm tossing those in like a little Easter eggs. So what happened here so if you actually see line them up it is way too short so i'll tell you exactly why right now so here is a sample mat we made <laughs> just running the test print right and we knew the measurements of the mouse pad but esley with his infinite wisdom set up the canvas and with media type uh, at different measurements and these are the edges where there was no paper to sublimate so there's still the, the white mouse pad underneath and it almost looks like a weird picture frame. It, it, it could work, but no, no, that looks terrible. Um, but that's what'll happen if we try to sublimate what we just printed out. So we gotta go back and make sure it's the correct size. All right, so since it's not the right size for the mouse pad, it is off a little bit. We do have to reprint it. However, all is not lost. So in this video series right now, J and E sublimate everything. There will be a use for this. Whether we end up sublimating it on another shirt or a hoodie, or you're gonna see in the playlist, we have custom puzzles. Let me just take a piece out of there. Right, look at that. So we might make a custom J and E puzzle, right? This is one we made for fun, our very first test. And you can obviously do different size puzzles. So that would still fit on a puzzle or tons of all the other things that we're gonna be sublimating in this series. So don't worry, we'll keep that design off to the side to be used in another video. So now that we're back, uh, here's the way I like to set it up. And everybody probably do it a little bit different. Again, the lower platen isn't really heated right now. You can set this design face up and then lay your mouse pad over your design. Again, since our design, we want it not to be crooked. We want to make sure that every edge is covered in the design. That way there's no edges that don't get any ink. Yeah, once you see the edges are covered, then what I like to do is fold this over and tape it down. And folding it over helps make sure, because this is a, it's about two millimeters thick, which is, doesn't sound like very thick, but if you roll the edges up and over, it helps you kind of curve that edge and make sure that it gets sublimated around any of the white parts on the edge as well. All right. So now that this is taped down and should say just where I want it, um, what we will do is just put it on <clears throat> our parchment paper here. I want to flip it first, I almost forgot that. So it's on our parchment paper here. And I'm going to fold the parchment paper over. To protect the design. And just so there's no bleeding, I want to make sure the timer is still set to the same 50 seconds. What's the temperature? 380. 
So for mouse pads, you can go between 365 to 385 or so. I think the first ones we did, we did it about 375. So five degrees is not much different. Um, the main thing you want to check, and I didn't check until right now, as we were doing different um, products or material earlier, we did a t-shirt and I should have loosened the pressure. All right, so the pressure is at a seven here, if you can see that on our machine. And really for the mouse pad, you want it like a three or four, closer to a medium. Um, and it's, yeah, it's at a six or seven there with pressure. So it's not gonna do much. Um, it's just definitely pushing down that mouse pad. If anything, it should help it cover all of the edges. But I also wanna make sure that I open this very slowly. So we don't get that weird vacuum. And then one cool thing, is now you couldn't see the design before through the back, but after you sublimate, before you take it off, you can see the ink almost transfer to the back of the paper. That's how you know that your design's coming through. And another tip I learned is that these mouse pads get hot. So you gotta be real careful. Look at that. That's freaking gorgeous. Woo! And now it's gonna be super hot. Hot, 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 hot potato. So what I will do, is toss it on the back of Esley's neck. It's almost too hot to hold. Not almost, it's too hot to hold, but I'm holding it because I want you guys to see that design that he picked out for that background. Those um, mountain, you can see how they came up. It is dark because if you saw him when he made the image, it was almost black with a little bit of highlights showing just the mountain ridges. It's on there. And just the, that burgundy color that I wanted came out so crisp. Not sure how it's coming across on camera, but it looks really high quality in person. That's the first Jamie Eclectic's mouse pad. Boom! We're gonna auction it off on eBay, starting bid a million dollars. Help us out, guys. No. It's cool, so if you want custom mouse pads like this, you saw 50 seconds. Maybe it was another 50 seconds to actually get the print. And uh, depending if you have a template already set up for your designs, it's gonna be a couple of minutes to actually do the artwork yourself, but set up a canvas, build it to the size of whatever material you're working with, like this mouse pad, and then it'll be easy like a mask, if you know what a mask is where you're doing graphic design. You can just drop any image in, it'll fill the same size, print it out on your printer, boom, there you go. Or even easier, hit up SLRI at jneeclectics.com or je underscore eclectics on Instagram or at esley at janeeeclectus.com through email or at jc at janeeeclectus.com through email. What we're saying guys is just hit us up if you guys want custom mouse pads or you want anything sublimated. What are we gonna sublimate next? I don't know. We got, we got all kinds of things. You're gonna have to find out. Stay tuned to this series and we'll catch you in the next one.